Namaste and welcome to today's trauma sensitive yoga practice. In today's practice, we will ponder how our breathing and how our sensations are intricately linked together. How we breathe directly affects our chemical balance in our body. One thing that happens with our breath as a very common is that we are breathing through the mouth for whatever reason. It can become habitual and that is often a shallow breath. This can lead to a CO2 imbalance in our body and research is now beginning to really look at how the CO2 imbalance greatly affects our nervous system. If you suffer from anxiety attacks or panic attacks, sometimes there is a direct link. And if we change our breath, we can get out ahead of the sensations. And they may have many different manifestations from shortness of breath to racing heart, dizziness, chest pain, sweating, trembling, choking, nausea, or numbness in the physical body. And there can also be a sense of unreality, a sort of losing control or a fear of dying, more of an emotional component. And they tend to dance together. We'll begin with what sometimes I call a straw breath, though we won't use a straw today. But it is a breath, we draw the breath in through the nose, and then we'll exhale through pursed lips. And that can help release tension and restriction across the diaphragm, enabling us to take a deeper breath in. And so we'll start doing it while we can all see each other. And then we'll repeat it as we come onto our mat. Today's practice, I have covered my mat with a blanket. It's a little softer. You can also lay on a thick rug Hardwood floor is going to be too hard and a bed may be too soft. So firm, but not hard. Now the straw breath, breathe in through the nose and then exhale through pursed lips. Let's take a breath in and out, normal. And we'll repeat. Through the nose, breathing in, and exhale. One more time, normal breath. And straw breath, breathe in through the nose. And exhaling through the mouth with a pursed mouth. And you can do this. You don't have to lay down to do it, obviously. Um, but it's a little easier sometimes to practice it sitting up. Now, with that said, let's come on to our back for today's practice. If you are more comfortable to sit, I invite you to do that. Always, always. Now that you can take care of yourself, this is your practice. You can pause anytime you want. Replay something that you really like or skip over something else entirely. As we come on to the back, if your chin pulls away from the chest, you might be more comfortable with a pillow or a blanket under your head. That helps dip the chin down towards the chest. And then I invite you to place your hands on your lower abdomen. And that just gives us a little bit of feedback. And we'll simply start by breathing in and out. Just notice the breath. The duration. And where does it go? We did a little bit of the pre-work. So it may be easier now than when we are on our back. Let's do another three practices. Breathing in through the nose. And pursing the lips. And 
Normal breath in and out. And again, breathing in through the nose. And out through the pursed lips. And again, take a normal breath in and out. And we breathe in through the nose and out through the pursed lips. And we let the breath go to normal. When we breathe in and out through the nose, the breath draws through the sinus cavities. And this is an important aspect for keeping the CO2 and oxygen ratio in the body just right. This doesn't happen when we breathe in through the mouth. And that may be where things go a little haywire. As you practice this breath, I would love your feedback and also at the end of the pursed lips exhalation, practice or play with extending it a little bit longer than what you think is there. We have a lot of stagnant breath in our lungs. And this also helps release this area right around the solar plexus. Now, as you breathe in and out through the nose, if it's available, And you invite the breath into the belly. And with the hands resting on your lower abdomen, we get a little feedback. The belly rises on the in-breath and relaxes down on the out. Maybe explore if you can extend the out breath a little bit further than the in breath. That invites the body into the relaxation response. The, our rest and digest is sometimes called and not the fight or flight. But that can be really hard to do in the heat of the moment. So like one of my teachers said, we practice in the light of what we need in the dark. On your next in-breath, it's going to arch the low back. And as you exhale, just floating, releasing back to neutral. Let's do that again. On your next in-breath, arch the low back. Belly poops and exhale, relax back to normal. Now we're going to add the other side of the coin. Don't take a breath in for nothing. And then exhale, flattening the low back. And now the belly flattens down. You can feel it moves away from the palms of your hands. And we're relaxed back to neutral. We'll take a breath in for nothing again. And exhale, pull the belly down. And if it's not going, you can give it a little help. Tell the muscles what it is you want them to do. Work at a speed that's comfortable for you. And we'll begin to put these two together. As you inhale, arch the low back. And exhale, flattening. Inhale, arch. Exhale, flattening. Make it easy. So there's gentle effort. 
for no strain. If anything is painful, let it go back off, back off, back off. One more time. Arms on the in-breath. And flattening on the out-breath. And we release to neutral. We'll slide the legs out long. Pausing. Noticing the breath, the sensations, and the residue after the movement. Let's roll the legs in and out. A little windshield wiper movement, but with straight legs. A little extra sketch movement. And we're resetting. And we'll bend out the knees again. And placing the feet just however it is comfortable for you. We'll take the arms up and we'll clasp the elbows. And then draw the elbows to the right, back up to center, down to the left, back up to center. That's the whole movement. Like an old fashioned typewriter going from side to side. Super simple. Now, as you come up to the top, we'll match it to the breath. On the next inhalation, letting the arms go down and exhale up. Go to the other side, exhale up. Did matching it with the breath make it easier or harder? There are no right answers or wrong answers. We're simply checking in. As you come up to the top, we're gonna to switch the breath and we're gonna exhale the arms down and inhaling up. Exhaling down, inhaling up. Maybe this feels easier Maybe there's no difference. If it feels safe, I invite you to close your eyes. There'll be less distraction. But it may also make you uncomfortable, in which case, just keep a soft gaze. So far, so good. Let's release the arms down. And take a little bit of a shifty wiki. Return to the breath again, in and out. We'll take the arms up. Now we'll add the head movement. So as the arms draws down, whether on the out breath or the in breath, let your nose follow the elbows. I'm looking at the same direction as my arms. Just going back and forth with as little effort as possible. And the head just rolls along with the arms. Gentle effort. And then as you come up to center, we'll switch the head movement. So now the arms go to the right, nose to the left. And again, the head just rolls from side to side. Maybe your eyes are closed, maybe they are open. Moving in a smooth and easy way. So that there is no pain or discomfort. Rest when you need to.
And as you come up to center, let's relax the arms down again. Pausing. Return our awareness to the breath. Sometimes when we move, we forget to breathe totally, completely. And if you're not sure if you're breathing in and out through the nose, you know, uh, into the belly, that's what I meant to say. You can always place a hand on your belly. And that can take a little bit of practice to invite in the belly breath. Now, our next movement is windshield wiper legs. And we're going to add that to the arm movements. So first, elbows and nose travels to one side. The knees are going to travel opposite. And coming back up, you may explore by exhaling down, inhaling up. Exhaling down, inhaling up, and a pace and a distance that feels good. That's going really well. We're going to switch it up a little bit. Now the nose and the knees goes together. But the elbows go opposite. Notice if that's harder or easier. This is not about doing it the right way. It's just about experiencing the movements. We're inviting in gentle release around the neck muscles, the shoulders, the upper back, the hips. But we're also doing a little bit of cross patterning in the brain. That's great to help reset. And then as you come up to center, again, let's relax the arms down. Let's slide the legs out. Take a deep breath in and out. And check in, how is everything feeling? Notice the breath. If it's available, breathing in and out through the nose. And let's do our little leg sweepers. Sweep, 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 sweep. And then we'll bend the knees up again. We continue to integrate more and more body parts. But if there's something that feels really good for you, you just pause and work there. That may be the entire practice for today. What is right for you is what's right for you. The next one, we'll take the arms down alongside the body. And as you inhale, Allow the arms to draw back. And exhaling, back down again. Inhaling back. And exhaling down. Back and forth. The arms may not go all the way back. They just go as far as they go. Again, gentle shoulder mobility. lubricating the joint capsule, getting all the muscles to fire. They go as far as they go, keeping the elbows straight as best as you can. Let's do it one more time. Then we'll exhale, take the arms down and relax. Now, we'll slide the right leg out. 
Sliding the leg out as you inhale. And slide it back in as you exhale. Left leg slides out. And back in. Again, if it feels safe, I invite you to close your eyes. But if you prefer to have your eyes open, that's a better way for you. A gentle walking on the back. This gets the hip flexors on board. It's easy. Maybe the legs don't straighten all the way. That's all right. Today is one practice. Tomorrow is going to be a brand new one. Next time, you bring your left leg back. We'll pause here. Pausing, sensing the breath. Easy and gentle. And then we'll cross pattern again. The right leg slides out, the left arm goes back. And all the way back home. Left leg, right arm. And exhaling back down. Alternating from side to side. Breathing in and out through the nose, if it's available. Just we just gently continue to alternating right side, left side. I get asked a lot, does it matter how I breathe? And my answer is always, as long as you're breathing, that's a good place to start. And then we can begin to modify the breath. But if that causes extra irritation, skip it. Let's skip it for now. One more time. Right leg, left arm, or you may be on the other side. I'm gonna finish with the left leg and right arm, and releasing down, and slide the legs out again. Roll the legs in and out. Is there tension held anywhere? Slide the legs up again. Breathing in and out. This time we added both arms, but only one leg. So we'll alternate the legs from right to left. Take the arms down again. As both arms draw us up, right leg stretches out. And exhaling, arms comes down, legs comes in. If this is uncomfortable, you may want to do just the arms or just the legs. Letting your body know, I am here to take care of you. Make this, the movement just the right side.
Do it one more time. And again, we'll finish with the left leg sliding out. And the right leg in. Again, we'll slide the legs out. And do the little leg sweepers. That can help release tension around the hips. That gets lodged in from having the knees bend up. Bending up the knees again. For bridge pose, I invite you to take the blanket or the pillow out from under your head if you're using one. We will take the hands down alongside the hips again. And as you inhale, we'll arch. And exhale, flatten, just like we did at the very beginning. Inhaling an arch. And exhale and flatten. This one, we know. Now for bridge pose. Inhale, press the feet down. Lift the hips. And exhale, lowering back down. Take a full breath in and out. Again, inhale, lift the hips. And exhale, lowering down. That is a great pose. That's worth repeating one more time. On the in-breath, lifting. And exhaling, lowering down. And we can combine this with the arch and flatten. So you'll inhale and arch. Exhale and flatten. And then inhale, lifting the hips. And exhale, lowering down. Let's take a buffer breath in and out. And we'll repeat. Inhale, arch. Exhale, flatten. Inhale, press the feet down, lift the hips. And exhale, lowering down. And relax. Buffer breath. That's what I like to call them. Well, all we do is breathe. Let's do our bridge arch combo one more time. On the in breath, arch. Exhale, flattening. Inhale, lift the hips. And exhale, lowering down. Everything pulls. Sliding the arms out to the sides. Walk the feet about as wide as the mat. So we'll visit with the windshield wiper twist again, but a different variation. As you inhale, letting the knees go to the side. And then look to the opposite side. Inhaling up. And exhale down. Other side. Back and forth in an easy, relaxed way for the benefits to be desirable. We don't have to push or shove or force. Here we are inviting in gentle movement. It soothes the nervous system, which in turn help us relax some of the chronic tension that can easily get lodged into our bodies and our minds. If there is tension in our body, 
there's often tension in the mind. And if there's tension in the mind, there's often tension in the body. So what's so cool about yoga is 10 to one and the other will also have a beneficial effect. As you come up to center, I invite you to take a breath in and out. And then let's hug the knees in to the chest. Another variation on the arts and flatten. And this one really does wonders for the upper shoulders and neck. As you inhale, you'll arch again, but as you're holding on to the knees, you're not, maybe not gonna go very far. Exhale, invite the knees to the chest, and you get a little squeezer. Inhale, arch again. Exhale, hugging the knees in. And letting the head just move along in an easy and gentle way. Back and forth. Trust that the work that needs to get done gets done while you enjoy doing it. Yoga is a lot about undoing uncovering the many layers that can hide our wellness. But as we remove these, like wearing too many layers of clothing, we get closer and closer to our inner ease that's always present, but hidden. Let's take the legs to the sky, arms to the sky, and we'll shake it up. Shake. Whether you call this playful tiger or a temper tantrum. No, no, no. <laughs> and we'll hug the knees in again. Rocking now from side to side. And we'll release the legs along the floor for Shavasana. The relaxation pose where the body gets to integrate all that we did. So now you may like today to take your blanket. You may like it back under the head. If that feels comfortable for your neck, and then if your low back is chatty, then I invite you to bend up the knees. Maybe walk the feet slightly wider than the hips, a little tucking of the pelvis and just let the knees rest towards one another. You may also like, instead to use your blanket under your legs, or maybe you have a second blanket and you can have one both under the head and under your legs. This can feel really relaxing for the low back. Last option. You may also like to place a blanket across your belly and upper thighs. This is a nice grounding tool. If we are feeling anxious, then the sheer weight of a blanket or a pillow can be helpful, but it can also be uncomfortable. So what's right for you is what's right for you. Not everything is right for everybody. So in yoga, we want to give our body what it needs to be really comfortable. So whatever you chose for today's Shavasana, I invite you to do a little wiggle in. Is it really comfortable? Maybe releasing the arms to the side or keep them on the lower belly. So 
Steady breath in and out. And as we become still, sometimes the softer voices that we couldn't hear before now begin to bubble up. Maybe your body would like a little bit of readjustment. Go ahead, adjust anything that you can adjust so you can get a little bit more comfortable. And then I'll share a meditation by Thich Nhat Hanh. I really like this one. It's a smile meditation. And it goes like this. Breathing in. I know I am breathing in. Breathing out. I know I am breathing out. Breathing in. I know I am breathing in. Breathing out. I know I am breathing out. Breathing in, I sense my hair. Breathing out, I smile to my hair. Breathing in, I sense my hair. And breathing out, I smile to my hair. Breathing in, I sense my eyes. Breathing out, I smile to my eyes. Breathing in, I sense my eyes. Breathing out, I smile to my eyes. Breathing in, I sense my ears. Breathing out, I smile to my ears. Breathing in, I sense my ears. And breathing out, I smile to my ears. Breathing in, I sense my nose. Breathing out, I smile to my nose. Breathing in, I sense my nose. Breathing out, I smile to my nose. Breathing in, I sense my mouth. Breathing out, I smile to my mouth. Breathing in, I sense my mouth. Breathing out, I smile to my mouth. Breathing in, I sense my lips. Breathing out, I smile to my lips. Breathing in, I sense my lips. Breathing out, I smile to my lips. Breathing in, I sense my shoulders. And breathing out, I smile to my shoulder. Breathing in, I sense my shoulder. And breathing out, I smile to my shoulder. Breathing in, I sense my arms, my hands and my fingers. Breathing out, I smile to my arms, hands, and fingers. Breathing in, I sense my arms, hands, and fingers. And breathing out, I smile to my arms, 
hands and fingers. Breathing in, I sense my heart. And breathing out, I smile to my heart. Breathing in, I sense my heart. Breathing out, I smile to my heart. Breathing in, I sense my stomach. Breathing out, I smile to my stomach. Breathing in, I sense my stomach. And breathing out, I smile to my stomach. Breathing in, I sense my hips. Breathing out, I smile to my hips. Breathing in, I sense my hip. Breathing out, I smile to my hips. Breathing in, I sense my legs, my feet and my toes. Breathing out, I smile to my legs, feet, and toes. Breathing in, I sense my legs, feet, and toes. Breathing out, I smile to my leg, feet, and toes. Breathing in, I sense the left side of my body. Breathing out, I smile to the left side of my body. Breathing in, I sense the left side. And breathing out, I smile to the left side of my body. Breathing in, I sense the right side of my body. Breathing out, I smile to the right side. Breathing in, I sense the right side of my body. And breathing out, I smile to the right side of my body. Breathing in, I sense my whole body. Breathing out, I smile to my entire body. Breathing in, I sense my whole body. Breathing out, I smile to my whole body. Letting your body relax into this sense of a smile. You can stay here for as long as you wish. And when you're ready to release, gently bend up the knees. Maybe rock the knees gently from side to side. And eventually roll all the way over onto one side. Don't be in a hurry. When we move really fast, we can startle our nervous system. It contracts. Moving mindfully, deliberately, we maintain a sense of ease in our body, in our mind. We'll close with a jolly mudra. And jolly meaning heart. Mudra meaning gesture. So the heart gesture. Thank you for allowing me to share this smiling practice and breath and body practice with you today. Namaste. Namaste.